Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at my newly released executor called Elixir. I do suggest watching the video to the very end as I'll be breaking down how to download and use the executor. And let's jump right into it. So first things first, as always, you do need to be on Windows 10 or 11 to use this executor. So if you are on Windows 11, come over to this star icon right here. And if you're on Windows 10, it's going to be in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and click this and search for virus and threat protection and go ahead and open this up. This is really important, so make sure you do this step before you download the actual executor. Once you've opened this page, go into Manage Settings and turn off Real-Time Protection. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now, it's really important that you have this off. Once you've turned it off, you can go into the first link in the description. It will take you to this website right here. It won't be the same page. It will be the page for the video that you're currently watching. From there, go ahead and click on the Download Executor button, which will take you to this page over here. From here, just go ahead and click on the offer and you can close out of it and just wait around 30 seconds and this will automatically continue and do the same for the bottom one. So once you've clicked those, just close out of the little pop up and just wait around 30 seconds and it will automatically continue you to the next page. If for any reason it doesn't, you can click it again and close out of it and wait around 30 seconds and it should have a tick next to it. Once you've completed that step, it will take you to this page right here. From here, do the steps again and click on unlock content, which will take you to the final download page. From there, you can simply go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm going to download it on my desktop and go ahead and click on save. If at this point your browser blocks the download, you can simply hold down control and press J and that will open up your downloads folder. And from there, you can click on keep dangerous file and click keep anyway. You don't have to worry about it being a virus or anything at all. This is just the normal process of downloading it. From there, go ahead and click on the actual file that you've downloaded. So for me, it's on my desktop. Go ahead and open that up and it will take you to the download manager. So from here, go ahead and click on next. At this point, it will ask you if you wish to download any of these offers. It's completely up to you if you need any of these programs. For me, I'm just going to simply click on decline and it will then finally give you the download page. From there, you can click on open and copy that URL. Go back to your browser and you can then paste it and get the download. From there again, you can choose wherever you wish to download it. I'm going to download it to my desktop and click save. And once again, hold down control and press J, open up your downloads folder. And from there, you can keep the file just like that. Once you've done that, you can close out of everything else and go ahead and right click the new Elixir folder and click on extract all. And from there, click on extract. And that should create a new folder for you, which will automatically open. At this point, just close out of it for now and you can delete these two files right here. And at this point, you want to go back into your virus and threat protection. From here, go into manage settings once again, scroll down until you see exclusions. Go ahead and click on add or remove exclusion. Click on add an exclusion and choose folder. From here, go ahead and choose wherever you have your Elixir folder created. For me, it's on my desktop. So just go ahead and single click it. Make sure you don't double click it accidentally. If you've opened it up, just click back and make sure it's highlighted and click select folder. At this point, it should be added into your exclusions just over here. And once you see any exclusions, you can go back and turn on your real time protection. And that's pretty much how you set up the actual executor. And now you're ready to actually open the folder and go into the Elixir EXE. If you do get this little prompt over here, go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway. It's completely safe. You don't have to worry about that at all. When you do open it, it will take you to my uh, YouTube page. So you can simply close out of that if you're already subscribed. And here we go. So we're now ready to get the key. So simply go ahead and click on get key and follow these exact steps and you will be able to get your own key. From there, go ahead and click on proceed and click on go to destination. Scroll down until you see go to destination one more time. Click that and just let this load so you can see it's given a little countdown. Um, so let's just wait for that to complete. There we go. Perfect. And when you do click on go to destination, it will open up a little pop up. So you have to close that and click it again. It will open pop ups four times. So that's two. That's three. That's four. And now it should be the final link. So when we click that, there we go. So it's continued us to the next page over here. Again, you just have to wait around 15 seconds and you will be able to then get your key. So let's just go ahead and wait for this to finish. There we go and go ahead and click on proceed to target again. It will open up a pop up four times. So you can simply go ahead and close out of that. And there we go. So it's given us the key now. So at this point, you can simply click on copy and you can go back to your executor, paste the key and click on continue. And that will take you to the actual executor. So you will have to generate your own key every 24 hours. It's really simple. I've shown you how to do it. And once you have completed those steps, it will take you to the actual executor. Now, I will show you all of the functions of the executor before we get into actually uh, using it within Roblox. So firstly, down here, 
you've got the script hub so if you click this and search for any script so for example if i want an arsenal script i can simply go ahead and search for arsenal scripts and it's going to give me a bunch of scripts for arsenal over here you can simply click on execute and that will go ahead and execute the script over here you've got the settings for the executor so topmost if you have this checked no matter what you click in the background the executor will always stay on the top um, if I have this off and I click it in the background, so for example, if I have this, as you can see, the executor goes in the background. But if I have this on, you can see that no matter what I do, it stays on the top. Um, opacity, it gives a little fade effect to the actual executor, as you can see. Um, kill Roblox, so if for any reason your Roblox has frozen or anything, you can simply click this and it will automatically close your Roblox for you. So you can simply go ahead and reopen it. Um, auto attach, I do recommend having this on. So this will automatically attach to the game when you do open Roblox, so you don't have to click inject. Um, disable status, I will show you what this is in just a second for the injection. You can also go ahead and click on home, which will take you to the home page once again. Now, if you do have any scripts that you like to use regularly, you can throw them into the scripts folder, as you can see right here, and you will be able to quickly access them that way. Um, now let's go ahead and actually go into Roblox and I will show you how to use the executor in action. So as always, you do have to use the Microsoft store version of Roblox to use the executors. So let's go ahead and click on play. And once you do fully load into Roblox, you can then click inject. So let's go ahead and wait a couple of seconds. Here we go. And now I can go ahead and click on inject. And when you do click inject, it will open up two pop-ups, which you can close out of. And you can see the injection status right here. So it shows you the progress. Now, if for any reason you don't like that, you can disable it in settings. So it won't show that. And you can still see the status at the top. You can see it now says connected instead of not connected. Now at this point you're ready to jump into any game and use the script so let's go ahead and jump into a game and i will show you how the actual executor works so here we go let's load into arsenal let me quickly grab a script for arsenal here we go go back to the actual executor and go back to the home page and over here you can simply paste your script just like that and whenever you're ready let it just quickly load the levels and everything you can click the actual execute button and you can see the script is working flawlessly and yeah, so you can pretty much use 99.9% .9 of the scripts with this executor. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did like it. Please do let me know what you think of the executor. If you do have any questions, you can also join the Discord server in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching. People praying for my downfall, but the only thing that I'll be down for is being top five, but like down four. I'm down to earth like the ground floor, but I've been fly so long. I tend to ask people, what's the ground for? Man, I'm only headed up. See, my flow volcanic. It's the fire I erupt. Heard the fans getting rowdy because they haven't had enough. You know I'm running the city. You just running out of luck. <sighs> yeah, I said that with my chest. I flow hard. It's no wonder they easily impressed. I'm so far, but I'm always coming back with something fresh. I never rest. Where you'll never catch this eagle in a nest. I invest my time in a booth. I find a piece. I use the piece to boom in my mind. My ex knows this. Let me expose this. She left because she don't want to be with an explosive man i'm just feeling so tall i could give a high five to the pilot yeah family tight i keep small circle like